Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of the Four Seasons Wanderer. How are you all doing? Hope all is well. Um, I'd just like to say thank you. Um, I've got 43 subscribers. Now, to everybody out there, they probably laugh at us and go 43 subscribers, but for me, I thought I wouldn't even get 10. <laughs> so to get 43, Take this back, really, to be fair, that 43 people have subscribed and they enjoy the videos and whatnot. So, so thank you for subscribing, and if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm not a frequent uploader, but I do try to upload when I can. So, this video is just about a multi-tool I've got and a torch. So it's a bit of a review of the two of them. Um... I'm going to start with the multi-tool and I have actually shown this on another video which was my hammock, first time hammock setup video. I briefly showed it in that video um, but I didn't go into much detail about it. I said I would do a video on it so that's the reason why I'm doing it now. So this multi-tool I bought off Amazon. It was twelve ninety nine. I'll put a link link in the description for for where you can go and find it and whatnot. It was free delivery, but I already mentioned in another video. I've bought things online before, and they've came in have been absolute naff, rubbish, not worth the money, just wasted, completely, completely not the money. Like with the little shovel I showed you in one video, where it was more. I've got a trowel in the garden that was bigger, but. <laughs> There you go. But this one is actually quite good. So we'll just start with the obvious that you can see. It's got a little hammer head there and it's also got a little hatchet which is quite sharp actually. This is actually, it is quite sharp. Um, this little multi-tool has got a bit of weight to it because obviously using them you need a little bit of force behind it. But it is small enough and it does come with a pouch and this actually can, it's got like a, a bit for the belt that you can actually put on your belt and whatnot. But that, this is quite a good tool just to put in your bag, a grab bag or, or whatever, you know. I mean if you want to go out and do like a camp out or, or anything like that, fishing, anything, it's great for that. Um, it's great for doing little kindling bits around the fire and whatnot. And it's also good for if you're wanting to put 10 pegs in. Um, it's got quite a bit of weight and it's not too harsh where like other hammers you can break and bend the pegs. So it's quite good. Um, and I'll just show you, it opens up here. If you push down on the handle, it's got a safety catch here that you just flick over. And that opens up for the pliers. It's got pliers here at the top. Uh, also, it's good. it's got bits on that you can use for for nuts and whatnot and also a, a bit for cutting that's actually quite good for cutting paracord to bear it or not it's like you could use your knife but it's good just to chomp down and away with it so that that that's all right that um but i found what i've used it for with the more grip bits at the top is good for if you've got a pot or a pan you can easily get a good grip of the pot or the pan and you can you can Maneuver it without obviously getting burnt or whatnot, and it's a good solid grip as well. Uh, if we move on down to the handle, you have a good knife, which is also pretty sharp. Because I thought this sort of tool here would be naff; it would be sh no good for nothing. Like you know, I mean, you've got your Swiss Army knives, which you know, are top top knives and whatnot, top multi tools. And I thought these would just be soft and not. Be no good, but this is actually pretty, pretty good and pretty sharp. Like you know, and it's got it's got everything you would need. It's got a thing that's got for different nuts, um, and uh, what I believe a bottle opener and a it's like a prison bar. But these are all really strong. I mean, as you can see, I can't bend it or snap it. It's pretty strong, like you know. So you could get a good grip of things with that. Um, it comes obviously with your Phillips screwdriver. Um, a little saw blade which is quite good because if you want to just saw little bits of branches off this is very 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 sharp you know and it actually has I've actually to be fair I used it at Christmas time for my Christmas tree <laughs> you know so that just goes to show you 
you know it's also got like a little extracting tool on the end for like staples or anything like that so this is like a good all-round tool really it has a flat bladed screwdriver at the top there that you'd use and it also has another sort of saw blade so um this is more like a like a hacksaw blade which is which is pretty good and cool and that's all the tools in that you know so you've got quite a lot and it's quite good and handy you know to just put in your bag i mean for me that there was worth every penny of 12.99 or whatever it was from from amazon you know and i actually have used a couple of the tools and it's quite strong so i mean i would recommend that if you're after like a little multi gadget tool for your bag you know uh, it's also good just something to keep in the boot of the car i noticed that um prepared camper Rue he did a video on um on a, a winter like sort of kit for the back of the car like survival kit in the car and um, this would be something i would say would be good to add to the boot of a car or a vehicle because it's got a array of different tools that you could actually use on a motor vehicle so that is pretty cool that and i'm pretty impressed and i dare say if you got one you would be as well and it, it's it, it goes in the in the i wouldn't say a sheaf i would just say a holder and it it sits over there like that it did come with a bit of rubber that went on the hatchet blade but it fell off <laughs> it was that wasn't very good but it, it stores away nicely there like that and as i said you can use it for different things so moving on now it's during the day so this is probably the wrong time to do this sort of video but i've got a giveaway at the end and i think it's appropriate and because i've got the time right now um I'll do a review on this small tactical torch that I've got. It's a Tough Max torch. I actually got it for Christmas off my parents. But the reason why I'm doing a review on this is because this torch here is actually pretty good. I use it for fishing and things like that as well. It's strong. It's made of metal. And it only takes three AAA batteries that go in the handle. You know? And they're just sitting there like that for the power of light that this kicks out i was amazed it's strong it comes with it telescope it's like telescopic what happens is it basically um you can take a, a large um span of light down or a small you know and it's got different functions on it you know and as i said you can brighten it right up i'm not as i said it's the wrong time of day to do the video but i'm quite impressed with this because fishing i put it on the top of my tripod and i use it on the wider setting and it, it actually it lights up quite a bit area enough for me and one of my friends that i go fishing with to be able to do rigs and things like that so that just goes to show you how much light it kicks out and it I haven't changed the battery since Christmas and I've used it quite a lot of times. It was one time I used it and I started fishing around about 8 o'clock at night and we didn't finish till half 2 in the morning and I had this on constantly. So, and it hasn't dulled down at all. So that's great. And that also comes with a little pouch, you know. Um, I couldn't find where my parents got this torch from, but I have found another torch which is very similar, does the same sort of telescopic zoom of light, takes AAA batteries, and it's still a good torch. This one here. It's called the Eager Tactical Torch. Um, it's got five lighting modes, the same as this. Uh, three watt LED power, 140 looms, eight hour illumination, five mile visi visibility beam range, um, IP54 rated. Um, if I'm honest, this is just as good really. Um, and this is my giveaway. So I've got one and I, I really like it. And I think this is also something good to add to the bag with your multi-tool so for the giveaway all i want you to do is just drop a comment in the comment section 
Um, just saying, just in introducing yourself to the channel. What I'll do is at random, I'll pick out a name at random. I'll get in touch with you through the comment section. And then I'll uh, exchange details with you and get this sent out here, like, you know. Um, and that's kind of just because I was thinking myself, I like it, and I'm sure you as well as well. Um, not just that, I got to 40 subscribers, and I was pretty pleased and happy, and I was over the moon because I never thought I would ever get like that. Um, and I said... I should give a giveaway, but since then I've had another three subscribers, so this is one of the reasons. This is for my 40, 40 subscribers, basically. Um, so there we go. That's all. So this was just a quick review on a couple of items that I have in my bag. I'm waffling on now. I don't want to waffle on because I don't want to bore anybody. But I'll leave a link in the description for the multi-tool. I'll try and find out where... I got my original torch from, um, but this one here was bought in the range, and this here actually only cost six pounds, so very cheap, but it does a good job, and that's what it's all about. So I'll leave a link in the description for that, and for the, the torch, and for the multi-tool. Um, so keep on wondering, thanks for subscribing, please like the videos, and I'll see you in the next instalment. Thanks guys, take care now. Oh, 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 oh,